eight tips to help you feel better in your clothes while you're working on your weight loss journey. Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. This week, um, I thought we'd talk a little bit about just some kind of tips and tricks to both shopping and also dressing um, your body while you're kind of, you know, working on making those improvements to get to where you want to be. Um, I just have a few things that I've found just over the last few years that are, I think, very helpful. But first, let's get into how I did this last week. I lost a little bit of weight, but I'm still, I still didn't lose everything that I had gained last week. So overall, I'm still up, um, which is disheartening, but it's okay. Um, I know I just need to stay the course. Um, this was a rough week for me. I actually took a very bad fall, so I haven't exercised because I was hurt. Um, so I have a lot of back issues. Um, and so you'll probably hear me mention, you know, oh, my back was hurting or things like that every once in a while. I'll do a, an explanation at some point down the road and kind of tell you everything that um, I physically have been through. Um, but, you know, we all have our things, right? We've all got some kind of limitation or hurdle that we have to deal with and we just have to deal with it. So that's mine and um, it's okay. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm doing much better. Um, have some really nasty bruises, but um, <laughs> I'm doing much better. So this week I'm hoping to get walking again and kind of keep things moving. And I think that might be partially why all the weight didn't come off. Um, but we'll see. I also had, you know, of course the Super Bowl, um, from last week. And then I also had, um, Valentine's day, which was the day after. So, um, my husband was nice enough to pick a restaurant that I could make some good choices at, which was fantastic. But anytime you eat out, it's still saltier and, and things than you would normally do cooked with more oil and butter than you would normally do. So it's still going to be a little higher than you know, you're banking on probably. So, um, so anyway, for this week, um, uh, my plan is to have, um, of course my, my caramel, um, protein in my coffee as always. And then, um, I'm going to do oatmeal. So a half a cup of old fashioned oats with, um, I like to do an apple and I think I've told you this before, but I just, I chop up an apple into bite sized pieces and pop it in the microwave for just a couple of minutes. So it gets a little bit soft and then put that in the oatmeal. I just love it that way. And then I do a little bit of cinnamon. So it's a cinnamon apple oatmeal. So that's what I'm going to do for breakfast. Um, for lunches, um, I'm going to, I guess, go the lazy route this week. I'm really not feeling inspired. And I was digging through my freezer and I have some smart ones in there, which is the Weight Watcher frozen meals. And I also have some Healthy Choice, which is another just um, frozen meal company. So I have a couple of each of those in my freezer. So I'm going to do those for lunch this week. Um, I'll probably need to buy a couple more, but they're like literally two something a piece where I live. So they're not terrible. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. They're pre-done, um, potentially a little bit more sodium. So maybe that's not the best choice, but I'm just feeling very uninspired and I just want to pretty much take a week off from having to think about it. So I'm going to go to the freezer and get the box and call it good. So that's my plan for lunches. Uh, for snacks, I still have some of that hummus left and, and some of the chips left or the crackers left. So I'm actually going to do that again this week. Um, I didn't do that every day last week. I didn't have a snack every day last week. So I still have some of that left. So I'm going to do that. And then for dessert, I got these Anna's, the ginger thins. These are so good if you haven't tried them. Um, you get three of them for 65 calories, uh, which is plenty, I think. And then I do this with just a hot cup of tea. And it's just, it's one of those kind of comfort things for me. So I thought I'd do that this week. So um, truly kind of making it easy on myself this week, which is probably not a bad thing. It's probably what I need. So um, yeah, so that's the plan. And then again, I'm going to stick with the exact same, um, you know, water and walking goals and, um, and calorie goals and just keep trying to stay on track and, and hopefully um, the scale of my body will follow. <laughs> Let's get into my eight tips and tricks to, you know, kind of dressing the body you have today uh, so that you feel better. Um, because obviously, you know, if you're on a weight loss journey, you know, you probably don't feel the best in, you know, in, in your clothes, in your, in your body right now. I know I don't, um, but there is, you know, I am all about, you know, body positivity and, um, you know, trying to love yourself where you're at. I think that's really, really important. So um, the better you can feel, then the easier that is to do. So I have some notes here. So forgive me when I'm looking down. I just don't want to forget anything. Um, my first one, my first tip is don't buy someday clothes. 
and what I mean by someday clothes is someday this will fit. <laughs> um, I have a closet full of clothes that don't fit already. I certainly don't need more. And I just think we set ourselves up for failure when we're like, well, it's tight, but I'm on, I'm on a weight loss journey. It's going to fit, right? It's just one more little pressure we're putting on ourselves for no good reason. It's not necessary. If the store doesn't have your size, it's because it's not meant to be. And it's, you know, it's not a failure on your part. It's a failure on the store's part for not carrying your size. Tip number two, um, if it looks better on the hanger, leave it there. And I don't know about you guys. I love to shop off the mannequin and uh, it does get me in trouble sometimes because oddly enough, mannequins are not my size. Weird. Uh, so, you know, things that look good either on the hanger or on the mannequin don't always look the best on me. And that's OK. If it looks good on the hanger, it should stay there right where, right where it looks good. Um, and that's OK. Again, just move on. Don't waste your money. Um, along the same lines is tip number three. And this one is the hardest one for me. And that's that it's only a deal if you would have paid full price. So I am the worst at finding, like right now, for instance, Walmart has a whole bunch of sweaters on clearance for five and $10. But if it's not, if it doesn't fall into something that is going to look good on me, and I'll kind of get into that next. Um, but, it, or if it just, you know, if I get it and it doesn't look good on me, it needs to, it needs to go back. Um, it's, it's not a deal even at $5 if it doesn't look good on you and it doesn't make you feel good. So um, I'm I'm the worst, I'm, I'm, I'm a cheapskate at heart. So when I get a good deal or I get something at a good price, I have the hardest time taking a step back and saying, okay, that's great, but would you have spent the $35 on it or the $50 on it? And if the answer to that is no, then I shouldn't be spending five on it either. Tip number four is pocket placement. So when you're buying jeans especially, but really any pants um, on the back, um, make sure that the pockets are placed close enough together, but not too close so that, you know, your rear looks wider than it is and high enough, but also not so high that again, your rear looks lower than it should be. Um, really the pocket placement is so, so important. And, you know, that's something that is, it's hard to find perfect pocket placement for your rear end. <laughs> so um, I am showing here a couple of different um, jeans that I personally own. And I will tell you that going through this exercise of filming myself in these clothes um, is far worse than even jean shopping in the stores because, you know, to actually see yourself on film is it's this this was gut wrenching experience. So please be kind in the comments. Some of my favorite jeans that are really, really comfortable really don't look the best from behind with filming myself in clothes is actually something I do recommend you do because you can't really see yourself from all sides. Um, but do it with a bottle of wine and a lot of patience with yourself. Tip number five is the neckline. Find a neckline that looks good on you and trying, don't, don't stick just to that, but try and do more of that. So for me, um, the V-neck looks the best. Um, today I have on this kind of mock turtleneck. It's completely fine. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not as nice of a look on me as the V. So I think the scoop looks the worst on me of, of all the different necklines. Um, the boat neck looks fine, you know, mock turtleneck looks fine, big fluffy turtleneck looks fine. Um, but the regular just kind of scoop neck, I, I'm just not a fan of it on myself. Um, but try different things and focus just in on that neckline and see what works best for your body type. The next thing is color. And this is another one that's, that's super personal. Um, I have this mustard shirt that I actually really like. It's very soft. It's very comfortable and it looks terrible on me. The color, I, I knew when I bought it, the color wasn't quite right, but guess what? It was like five bucks, <laughs> breaking my other rule. Um, and I, I really wanted to try mustard in my closet and in my wardrobe and it's okay. I'll break it up sometimes with, you know, a cardigan or something, but um, it's actually going in the donate pile at this point because I hardly ever wear it because I know it's not a good color on me. Um, it doesn't make me feel good. So why do I have it? You can actually just hold up different colors right next to your face and, and you'll see and take a photo and see which one looks the best on you. Um, I tend to look better in kind of some pinks and things like that, you know, magentas, um, which are not really my favorite colors to wear necessarily. Um, I don't actually own a lot in those, that color realm, um, but it does look better on me. So just knowing that, um, you know, then when you're shopping, if, you know, let's say there's two, um, you know, sweaters or shirts or whatever that um, 
but they, you know, that are both in your size and one's more in your color palette than the other. Yeah, maybe you go that direction. The next one up is the arm seam. And this one is one that I, you'll find, you'll catch me breaking this rule quite a bit. I recently discovered that where the arm seam on, especially on sweaters, um, where this arm seam is, is, is super important um, with my body type because um, I'm going to try and kind of zoom out here and you'll see, you know, here in the footage too. Um, my, one of my widest points is my, my arms and the other one is obviously my hips because I'm carrying most of my weight there. Um, but my arms are also quite large. So where most sweaters will cut, will have the seam right here in the middle of your arm. And it really just draws your eye to the widest part of my body. And it took me a while to figure out why I liked some sweaters on me better than others. And I discovered that the ones I liked better always had the seam right here at the shoulder. And so I've tried to kind of start doing that and finding, you know, finding sweaters and shirts and things that keep the seam here and stay away from ones where it cuts it down, you know, midway down your arm. Um, it just, it, it's just not a good look on me. And more often than not, those are the, the ones that I go, Ugh, I don't know why this doesn't look good on me. Well, that that's typically why. I'm just going to kind of give you a bonus tip because I started to show you this sweater. Um, doing things like this, like this little arm detail, this is a sweater I can link below because this is actually from Walmart um, fairly recently. So hopefully they still carry it. Um, but things like this, like arm details that are down at the arm or, you know, details that are kind of, you know, up more towards your face, um, wherever those details are is going to where your, where your eye is going to go. So that's actually way more flattering than, again, bringing your attention to your widest point. Number eight, my last tip is to, you know, break up the lines with with kind of a vertical line. And we typically do that pretty common anyway with things like, you know, cardigans that have been, you know, popular for the last like decade. Um, I think that's our mom uniform, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, it really does, it really does break up the body and, and bring the, the eye vertical um, to wear either, you know, a cardigan or, you know, a jacket. Um, I'm showing here one of my my favorite um, kind of a, it's like a faux leather jacket um, that I like to wear and it just sort of breaks up those lines and keeps your eye moving so that you know you just it just keeps you from looking quite as as wide so um, so that's my other tip is to if you do have something that maybe isn't feeling wonderful you know add that other layer now middle of summer don't do that because you're going to die of heat. Um, but this time of year, you can always, you know, add that extra layer and that does help. So that's my tip number eight. So I hope those were helpful for you. Um, if you have another tip that you think that is important or that I missed, please do leave those in the comments down below because I can, I, there's definitely more I can learn from you guys. Uh, so if there's something that you tend to do while you're shopping or something you look for, um, something you avoid, definitely share that down below. Once again, thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, good luck this week if you're also on a weight loss journey. Um, do be sure if you enjoyed this video or you learned anything, do give this video a thumbs up. Um, be sure and click subscribe and then click that bell for notifications so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <clears throat> Choking on nothing. Let's try that again. <clears throat>